So we're going to be using a previously printed mono print. Very distressed. Oh, it makes me so happy. And we're going to be doing, oh, hi y'all. Hi, <laughs> APG Jamie here. Anyway, we're going to be doing some heat embossing, okay? And, um, oh, this is in regards to uh, something that some people were able to, or voted on in a poll on my community, YouTube community page. <sighs> Back in March, mid-March. Anyway, where I asked y'all to vote for either number one or number two, wherein I did not tell you what number one or number two was. You were just to blindly pick one of the numbers, okay? And y'all did quite well. Just let just let me mention that right now. You did well. Um, I had uh, I was going through some some poems on my computer and I found a couple and I thought, oh, I like those. So I let y'all pick which one I used, uh, mostly as a representational, or this art journal page, bless my heart, y'all. Art journal page is a representational, interactive <laughs> uh, page, sort of coincides with the poem, y'all. You know, it's April. You know, April showers, bring me flowers kind of thing. Let it rain. <laughs> so anyway, within the poem, there's a mention of uh, yellow roses, you know, Texas. Yeah. And um, the color turquoise and music and just various whatever stuffs. Oh, he can, y'all. The magic of heat embossing. Oh, y'all. Fun and magical that's a uh anti-static pillow thing puffer pad that i made myself it has cornstarch in it and it's like a double layer of t-shirt regular old-fashioned cotton t-shirt fabric with uh you know anyway works well for me and we uh, we all know that's what matters um this is a background stamp, and it's just got a little music portion on it, and that's the part I'm using, just the little music part, mostly. And um, what else? Oh, the stamps. Oh, there's a list of ingredients, y'all, in the description box below the video. Click on the famous phrase, show more to, that's right. See more information, including the list of ingredients. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, the rose was, is, was, is a layering stamp. They're big, giant stamps, y'all. And, um, anyway, I just used the one. I didn't layer them up or anything. Here you go. Y'all. <laughs> So we will just progress on, and I'm going to uh, momentarily read you the poem. Don't click away. You're going to want to hear it. But anyway, um, y'all know I'm a poet. If not, surprise! APG means artist, poet, girl. That's me, y'all. And that's, you know, one of the artistic venues I... I tend to gravitate towards. We're inking all around here, y'all. In a little bit, I'm going to use, um, I don't show you me die cutting a window or a door, but we're going to use a window and a door. And I layer them up and put a hinge in them. So, um, anyway, and then I fiddle fart around with a, uh, Trying to put a magnet on it. I had closure issues. <laughs> I had ish closure issues. <laughs> anyway. Here we are. We're going to layer up the, the window glass, which is a packaging guy, you know, from a stamp or a die or something. I don't know what. Anyway, double-sided tape. So let me scooch over here. And I would say recite the poem, but it's not memorized, so uh, 
I can't recite it. I'll be doing good <laughs> if I don't insert typos um, as I read it, okay? Through the window and outdoors. The muse leads me, tossing words and lines around, expecting me to catch them like anticipated raindrops during this great Texas drought. I dreamt a line at 2.47, or was I already awake and smelling a phantom rain floating like fog just above my bed? It's ghost essence falling on my skin, tapping, tinging in time with clock on the six-legged dresser, raising up tiny little dust rings with a puff and an audible and now I either have to dream the rest or wait for the muse to come on and get it over with. Put me out of misery, out of my mind. In my dream, there was a yellow sun searing down on turquoise painted heels, each glossy top covered in music instead of cool wet snow reflecting a glare of burnt yellow roses. It seems the muse has left me to weed out a song of rhythm without chorus, without rhyme, without thunder or lightning. Through the window and outdoors, the muse spins merrily, clapping hands, splashing in puddles. My teardrops spark as fireworks glistening on a moonless night. The muse laughs, but not at me, rather at the words that were spoken. They exploded before finding my ears. Oh Lord, let it rain. Let it rain on me. Let me hear the words that finish the 247 line of through the window and outdoors. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> I so appreciate you guys. Um, this poem, by the way, was written back in 2013, y'all. I know, a couple years ago. Uh, anyway, I enjoyed it, uh, looking through some old poetry. And the other one, if you guys should be interested, just let me know, and I'll see if I can't work that out. But I, I, I don't hold me to it. I'm God, I'm God. So anyway, we use double-sided tape to adhere the glass, aka packaging, to the inside of our window. And we've added a hinge. With, this is cardstock. And we are sandwiching the hinge between the front and the back window panes. Um, on the die cut cardstock, which I didn't film, I did not film it. It's not that I lost it. I didn't even film it, okay? Uh, that I used a background wood grain stamp to add wood grain, huh? Funny enough, to the window and the door, which I also have a front and a back. Well, it's not a front and a back. It's Front, and then I cut another front and I'm going to sandwich them back to back again with the hands in between. We're poking a hoe so we can put a brad in there because it needs a doorknob. I am only putting the doorknob on one side of the door. And we're going to cover said brad up with a uh, piece of cardstock on account of it's going to be a pocket. Pocket door, <laughs> y'all, pocket door. Oh, that just occurred to me. I'm so clever. Anyway, uh, so because it's a pocket, I'm going to slide the poem in there because, you know, it, the page is not necessarily going to make any sense without the poem being somewhere attached in the page, on the, in the page. I'm not putting it on the page. So um, we're doing it. It keeps, keeps stuff from getting stuck on the brad. I cannot seem to finish a thought. I must have had too much coffee. Anyway, finally got to get that hinge in there. 
and we're going to sandwich it uh, in the door. Y'all, I'm so happy with this page. It's interactive. You can open the window. Well, sort of. And you can open the door. And it's a pocket. Magical heat embossing. He gun, y'all. So, finally get around to gluing the pocket together. In which case, you just glue three sides. Gives you a pocket. Okay? Okay. So we're going to get there any day, probably, smoosh it around, any day. And yes, as a matter of fact, some of my work, my poetry work, has been uh, published, and I've had art that sells, so you know, I'm a, I'm a published poet and a selling artist. <laughs> So here we are positioning our door and window, and I want them cockeyed. I mean, we are talking about something from a dream, which is a true story, okay? Because back in 2013, when the poem was written, we were going through a pretty big time drought. I think that was the year we did not get rain at our house for a year and a half. Yeah, I think, 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 yeah, I think that's what it was. Anyway, so we're drawing a line uh, or cutting a line in our background, which is cardstock, y'all. And I removed just a sliver of the paper, just a sliver of the card, excuse me, so that the hinge will fit in there and won't be uh, in too much of a bind. We don't want to bind our hinges now. And just ink it around just to help make that kind of disappear. Sort of. I know, it's supposed to look like a door just floating in outer space. Well, it's not outer space, but, you know, it's supposed to look like it's floating. And we're going to glue our hinge down, and I tend to, uh, when I bind my flat journal pages, I tend to stick them back to back so you will not see the back of this page once it gets put in a, or bound into a journal. And if I decide to, decide to bind it differently and the back is exposed I will cover it up with some kind of pretty paper okay? but until then we're going to cover up the little hinge thing because I don't want it getting caught or hung up on on nothing nothing honey so we're doing that and we're going to flip it back over and there's my hinge and watch the door it's just, it just keeps popping back up and it's like oh it keeps popping up I don't like it Put a magnet on it. So I went and got my magnets out. And the first ones I picked out, uh, the magnet itself is uh, thicker than what I wanted to use. So I have some thinner ones, fortunately. And I'm just checking to see how well they are sticking to the, um, the brad thing right there. And that's pretty okay good. So we're going to put a magnet on the back of the journal page. And um, I think I end up, y'all, it's been a couple of days. You know me, I film, and then I get around to editing. And then I finally get around to voicing over, and, and sometimes I have to voice over 20 times because I can't talk right. Can't talk right. So we're fiddling around, and... Um, I decided at some point that my actual door, you know, because we made it a pocket, it doesn't quite close as much as I would like it to either. So we're going to fiddle, fiddle, faddle, fiddle, fartle with the magnet. We're going to put the magnet on the back side of the door, okay, where the inside or the outside, depending on which way you're going, uh, y'all, it's a dream door, okay? Um. The magnet's going on the back side of the door. We're going to cover it up with a circle that we die cut out of the same um, brown cardstock. And we stamped it, as you just saw, with wood grain stamp. And I did pretty a-okay good, a -okay, pretty a-okay good on getting that uh, wood grain going in the correct direction. I don't know that it's necessarily lined up, but it, it's, it's okay. It's going in okay direction. 
So we're gluing on a covering for the magnet, and yes, it's not invisible, but it's okay. Makes me happy. I'm okay with it. And now we have a piece of metal, which is uh, round circles, tin caps, T-I-N, tin caps. They use those in roofing. Um, and I used that on the back of the page and covered that up, y'all saw, with the paper. And that will attract the magnet. So the magnet will help keep the door closed at the hinge portion pocket and keep the door attached or closed in a closed position onto the page. <sighs> Took a minute to get there, didn't it? So now that I know I had a hinge problem, I thought, well, let me just snip this rose in the bud and go ahead and put a magnet on our window seal as well, our window. And I know it's a window that flops open and closed like a door. It doesn't slide up and down like typical windows do. But it's a dream window, y'all. You have to remember, it's a dream window. So we're doing that. Okay. And again, we did our um, stamping so that we had the wood grain, blah, blah, blah. And we made the slit. And we put our window in there and we covered the hinge up on the back of the page. And then I thought, well, because I'm going with let it rain, we need some rain showing up somewhere. So my secret internet admirer just happened to have sent me a while back some little stencils that I like and I have used. Um, and one of them happens to be raindrops. So we are using clear gel um, gloss gel to make raindrops on our page. They are very hard to see unless you tilt it and get it in the light just right. Okay, here's a little flippy floppy. I added letters because I die cut when y'all weren't looking. We added letters. It says through the window and out doors. And I take that as doors as in more than one door and not outdoors as in outside. Okay, okay, not a typo, not this time. <laughs> I'm good at those two. So see how everything just flips, and then because the magnet just clicks right down. Ta-da! Photo montage. <laughs> ah, y'all, this was fun. I hope you enjoyed uh, our poetry moment and the little project our art journal page with the uh interactive window and door in the pocket because it sure makes me happy i appreciate each and every one of you your kind comments your likes your shares and your subscriptions thanks for watching happy art y'all more poetry